In this video, I will show you how to complete two common tasks that psychologists often do with new data sets. Remove columns and remove rows. You often have to remove columns that contain identifying information about participants. Rows are often removed because they represent practice runs of the experiment that took place before data collection began. Of course, you should aim not to collect identifying information if you don't need to, and also to delete practice runs before data collection begins. But often that just doesn't happen, and you need to remove columns or rows before you begin to analyze your data. We will use functions from the tidyverse package to remove columns and rows from this data set. First, we will install and load the tidyverse. To do that, I'm going to create a new R chunk. And I'm going to copy this code that loads the Haven package. And instead, I'm going to use it to load the uh, tidyverse package. It's a big package, so it can take a long time to load um, if you haven't loaded it already. Now that it's loaded, let's also load the Haven package again. And then we can import our data set. When we look at the data set, we want to check out, are there any columns that contain uh, identifying information and any rows that shouldn't be there. And right away I can see that there's this column called IP address. And by default, Qualtrics um, records the IP address of participants. And really what should happen is as a researcher, I should unclick that default behavior inside Qualtrics so that this information isn't recorded. But because it has been recorded now, it's important that I remove that column. We can also see that there is a column that records the date of each run through the experiment. And you'll notice that there are three runs that took place on May 12th. Those are practice runs. I know that because I was the one that ran through the experiment three times that day to double check everything was working properly. I should have deleted those practice runs before running actual participants through the experiment, but I forgot. So now I'll have to delete them. But first, let's remove the IP address column. And it's conveniently called IP address. We will use the select function of the tidyverse package to remove the IP address column. We'll start with our data set and then use the pipe operator to send the data set to the select function. The pipe operator is a shoot or a pipe that you push information through to the next command. In this case, we are pushing our data set to the select command. To remove a column using the select command, we type the name of the column we want to remove and then put a minus sign in front of it. So we want to remove IP address. I will put the minus sign in front. And if I press play, oops, <laughs> sorry, that should be a lowercase s. And now when I push play, you can see that IP address is nowhere to be seen. Now let's remove the three practice runs at the top of the file. We'll use the slice function to remove them. All we have to do is pipe the new data set to the slice command. So I'll add a pipe. I will add the slice command. And to remove the first three rows, type uh, minus one colon minus three. And that tells the slice command to remove rows one through three. If you press play, 
you should see that the uh, not only is the IP address column gone, but so are the first three rows. Now the first participant was run through the experiment on June 28th instead of May 12th. Now the final step is to save this cleaned up data set. And we do that with the assignment operator. Type dash, greater than, and then we'll write the name of a new variable that I'm just going to call data set cleaned. So now if we press play, we shouldn't see anything but uh, we can use the view command to take a look at dataset cleaned. And when we look at dataset cleaned, we see there's no IP address column, and the first participant was run on June 28th. In the next video, I'll show you how to make composite variables.